because he squeaked. That was not feedback. That was a clear squeak. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today, I have a cross century 2 here that we want to take a close look at. This is a gunmetal grey version. I would like to thank the cross company here for providing me with this review sample. As always, without influence on this review or my opinion. With the Cross Century 2, we have a rather slim fountain pen that stands out with a few details. The body is finished in a satin grey. The trim elements are glossy black. These are the decorative ring at the cap end, the clip and the finial. The rather uniform diameter of the pen and cap decreases sharply from a point towards the finial. At the point where the finial starts to thin is the attachment from the clip. This is a good distance from the finial. You can see that above the clip towards the finial is the cross logo. The finial is flat and has an indentation. The barrel end is also flat in design. Under the clip on cap, we have the black grip section and the black nib. The grip section is a metal grip section that is grooved and PVD coated. This is a cartridge fountain pen. But let's take a closer look at a few things. Here is a grooved grip section with a black nib. We can already see here that the nib has a simple design, but is nicely decorated with a logo. Also, of course, the grooves in the grip section are very easy to see here. Here we have the logo between the clip and the finial. This is very finely printed in a darker grey. It is therefore not immediately noticeable, however, as grey on grey, it gives a very classy impression. Here again in detail, very fine and cleanly printed. The nib is cleanly worked and completely black, even the nib tip. The fact that the slit does not hit the breathing hole in the center of the specimen is not a problem. It's not really noticeable on a normal view without magnification. Thin pens can be problematic in large hands, but the pen fits good in the hand. It is quite balanced in terms of weight. With the cap on the back, the weight at the barrel end becomes significantly heavier. However, this results in a very comfortable position in my hand with this pen. Let's move on to the writing sample. The pen writes with a slight feedback, but glides pleasantly over the paper. The nib is rigid, so you have to apply a lot of pressure to achieve just a little line variance. By the way, the old Caran d'Ache Chromatics Electric Orange ink is used here. The writing behavior is pleasant. But what was noticeable was that this pen really needed to be written in. Because he squeaked. That was not feedback. That was a clear squeak. This settled after a short use, but was noticeable at first. Behavior like this is rare, however, it can happen. But let's take a look at how the pen compares. We compare it here with a Visconti Homo sapiens, a Kaviku student, a Pelican M805 metal striped, a Diplomat Elox, and a Lamy Safari. It is clearly the narrowest fountain pen here in comparison. In terms of length, it is a little shorter than the other pens. With the cap on, it's even shorter than the student. 
In a second comparison, we have it here with the Diplomat Magnum, a Shiruti Ebe, an Online Eleganza, a Platinum Procyon, and a Stettler Initium Resina. The Cross Century 2 is a slim fountain pen. I already mentioned that. People with large hands may have problems with it, but it is easy to use. It fits comfortably in the hand. For me, it's even a little better with the cap hosted. It is also easy to grip. The grip section is made of metal. Of course, this is something that will scare off some right away. But some points here make for a good grip, and possibly it will be something for the fans of plastic grip sections. For whom a metal grip zone is too slippery or too sweetie. Because the grooves provide additional grip and help a bit when fingers like to sweat. Haptically, these grooves are very pleasant. Secondly, the metal here is PVD coated. This involves applying a different material to the object in a special physical process. This coating is significantly more stable and less sensitive than a paint finish for example. But under certain circumstances, it can also make the grip section feel different. Of course, everyone has to check this for themselves. However, both points make the grip very pleasant for my test and stable. You don't slip quickly or twist the pen. In general, I like the color scheme. This rather light grey body, which is adorned by the glossy black. And you have included the nib directly here. Unfortunately, it squeaked at the beginning. This may be due to the treatment to blacken the nib, but after a little writing in, this has settled and the nib writes pleasantly. Nice would have been a little flex in my eyes, but even this rigid nib writes well. The fact that you could see in the detail shot that the slit is not centered at the breathing hole is tolerable. I did notice this with my naked eyes. And it doesn't affect the writing experience here either. But of course, it could be better. And as far as I know, Cross has well made nibs. It is now not a Montauk model, but also not the best nibs so far. But what Cross likes to have, and here too, is a nib that is bent down a bit more towards the tip than other manufacturers. But this is completely normal. By the way, with Cross fountain pens, we have to use their cartridges and converters. After all, with a cartridge system of their own here. How is it with you? Do you use fountain pens with a cartridge system other than the standard international? The system that has become very widely accepted? Write it down in the comments, I would be interested. But I was irritated by the cap, more precisely the closure. When I initially put on the cap, it wobbled, only minimally. But even such a slight mobility in the cap is irritating if you noticed it. Because then you always notice it. But what I didn't notice at that moment is that I didn't have the cap on properly at all. I can push it on a little further. Only then does it really click into place. And then the cap also holds, as you would expect. If you put the cap on very carefully, you might fall for the supposed first snap in. But if you are used to putting the cap on quickly, you probably won't notice it. All in all, though, this is a fountain pen that has its own style. It is stable and, in my opinion, looks good. Sleek, understated in appearance, yet distinct. And the most important point. The Cross Century 2 is a fountain pen that is reasonably to write with. In any case, thanks for watching. As always, feel free to leave me a like, it makes me happy and YouTube. And if you haven't done so yet, you are of course very welcome to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.